In this video, I'll show you how I designed and made this awesome RGB infinite heart mirror. Welcome to my channel, I'm Chen the design maker. I love designing and making electronic and robotic projects. So if this interests you, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. The first step for my projects is always research. I watched a lot of tutorials online and all the infinite mirrors are having simple constructions. Two one-way mirrors with light source sandwiched between them. Since we are building it in a heart shape, laser cut acrylics come into mind. And since we want to use Arduino and RGB LEDs, I picked some NeoPixel LED strip and Arduino Nano laying around. You can find more detail about the parts in the description. Then I started the initial design in Fusion 360 by figuring out how many pieces I need. In my design, the LED strip is held between inner walls and outer walls. The walls are multiplied by 3 to accommodate the width of the LED strip. The top and the bottom pieces are also needed as one-way mirrors. You can download the model and the vector file down in the description. The next is to cut all the pieces with laser. The first design of the inner wall is too thin that the LEDs are making hot spots, even after I beat blasted them. So I ended up with a thicker design with blasting to blend the LEDs better. Another thing new I tried is to use the film on the acrylic sheet as a mask. The mask is made with really low laser power that is just enough to cut the film, so you can peel it off for other processes like spray painting or beat blasting. I added extra masking tape before the cut to make the mask survive the blasting better. The peeling is really satisfying. I also learned it's probably a bad idea putting your camera inside of a bead blasting chamber, so don't do it at home. When all the processes are done, remove all the films and you can see the final result we're looking for. I also spray painted the back piece with silver color to block all the electronics. With all the acrylic walls prepared, it's time to stack them up. Fold the LED strip inside and make sure you leave all the connections on the tip of the heart to feed through the back piece. The strip I used is NeoPixel, but you can also use W2812 LED strips. I made a tutorial earlier for driving RGB LEDs with Arduino in case you need it. For the front and back pieces, we need to apply the one-way mirror film to make it reflective. I have to say I'm not very good at applying the film. There's tons of tutorials on YouTube if you want that perfection. I'm also not sure if the film is the best for infinite mirrors, but you can find the link in the description. Let me know if you know any films that could work better. Now it's time to add the front and back piece into the stack. We also need to fix all the layers together. I was hoping to use this copper tape, but it is too thin that creates a lot of cracks and creases. I ended up using double-sided tape below the copper tape substrate and applied the second tape along the side. The next is to map out the rest of the part that holds all the electronics. I have a piece that holds the Arduino Nano and a 5 volt power jack, the shell itself, and a little stand. I also tried something new here. On each of the four pillars on the holder piece, there is a tiny groove, and on the shell, corresponding features with lips, to make them a press fit so I can open up later for programming and updating. To make the shell prettier, a couple rounds of priming and sanding were done, and I sprayed a copper color to match the side wall. About the electronics, I found a 5 volt power block and a jack pair, and connect it to the Arduino Nano's V-in and ground. NeoPixel's ride to 5V, lag to ground, and the signal to D4. There are still a lot of pins left for future expansions. As for programming, I just used fast LEDs library's demo reel. It looks pretty fancy already. Of course, you can program it to show any kind of animation you like. That's it, hope this is helpful and let me know if you have any questions. It would be great if you can subscribe to my channel and uh, watch my other projects. Happy making and uh, see you later.